The Financial Planners Game Plan is indeed a unique initiative. One of the important uh, takeaway from this program is you learning about the WBS. Now, what is the WBS? It represents the work breakdown structure. So as you take the step to develop your financial goals and develop your financial game plan and uh, timeline the whole process, it's important that this entire process collapse into your WBS, the work breakdown structure. Today, I wanna to spend some time talking about that, but just before I get into any discussions surrounding the WBS, the work breakdown structure, do permit me to introduce myself for those who may be joining me for the first time. My name is Gary Thompson. I'm a business development consultant by profession. I'm a humanitarian by nature. And I'm the multiple best-selling author for several books, including Manager's Billionaire Codes and Manager's Toolkit. My new book, 10X, Branded and Marketing, The Psychology of Doing Business, will be out very soon. This is a unique book for anyone who is in business, expect to get into business, or anyone who wants to achieve more financially. So if you're ambitious enough to want to achieve more financially and you want to know how to build that brand to make the large than life impact, uh, this book, getting a copy of this book is absolutely, you know, uh, a game changer. Now I want to come back to today's topic. Today we are looking at, we continue to look at the financial planners game plan. Now, in introducing the Financial Planners Game Plan, um, only yesterday we spoke about this. We clearly stated that this program stands on four pillars. One, it's about financial leadership. Two, it's about management leadership. Three, it's about business leadership. And four, it's about project management leadership. Now, under that heading, project management leadership, there is something that we call the WBS the work breakdown structure. The work breakdown structure is very unique, relevant, absolutely necessary. As you take your steps, whether you're in business or whether you're the ambitious individual who wants to achieve more financially, is to take all of your steps and subject it to the WBS. And we're gonna talk a lot about that just now. But I just wanna quickly recap on some of the key takeaways that you would have had with uh, since we have started this program. I want to also take the time to thank the students that we have across the world. We have students in the Bahamas, in Netherlands, we have Barbados, um, Trinidad, the USA, um, all out Guyana, throughout Guyana. We have persons all over. I want to thank you guys for the feedback, the positive feedback all the feedbacks that you have been given to us at Global Capital Inc. as we seek to uh, roll out these programs and to have a large than life impact on your business life and on your personal life. So since we have started this program, we clearly stated that the financial planners game plan stands on eight important pillars and um, you need to know them. Pillar one, we talk about uh, financial goal setting. Pillar two, we talk about financial game planning. Pillar three, we talk about financial timelining. Uh, pillar four, we talk about team dynamics and team motivation. Pillar five, we talk about project implementation and management processes. We went on to talk about pillar six, which is evaluation and control. Pillar seven, we spoke about control optimization. Last but not least, we spoke about control systemization. It is by building out your WBS, your work breakdown structure. This is literally what allows you to have better control and management over the project. I'm just gonna give you some brief idea here today. Now, when we talk of the WBS, we are talking about a template. We're talking about a data. 
that allows you to fill out all your tasks and all the activities associated with the project. And as you build out the tasks and different responsibilities associated with the project, you're able to also timeline those projects. Now, one of the examples that I want to look at is let us suppose that you want to, you're in the marketing department of a company and you want to increase the business traffic. So between the marketing managers, the project managers, and you know the public relation personnel, you sit and you start to identify best practices and appropriate steps that you can take to achieve the increased traffic to the business. But remember everything that we talk about, the desire to increase traffic is a goal. And we say that the goal has to be specific, it has to be realistic. It has to be achievable. We talk about all of it. So let's put a figure to this. You want to increase traffic by 500 persons um, over a month's period. You want to increase your traffic. So there's a number of things that you would need to do to achieve this. For example, you may have to leverage social media platforms. Some people don't like using the social media platform. You may have to use mass media, meaning radio, television, newspaper. Those are platforms that you can use to communicate information to new uh, clientele base to raise awareness of your products and your services. Or you can also use direct contact, direct sales. And most people, a lot of people believe in this direct contact because you're able to speak with the specific target market and uh, once you have a well-trained uh, person who's able to clearly communicate the information to the potential consumer, uh, you are likely to get better results. So as you come together, you discuss the best method of approach. The approach that you decided on is to use direct marketing. Now, Direct marketing is going to become the game plan. So you have the goal to increase sales by 500 by the end of the month, which is timeline. The game plan that you're going to be using is direct marketing. So now that you know this, it's very important to, this must reflect in your WBS, the work breakdown structure. But what is even more important to be reflected in the work breakdown structure is the number of persons that you're going to probably appoint to get into the fields or use telephone contacts to make direct contact with potential consumers. So the WBS will carry all of this. So it may say things like, okay, 500 persons to be reached or 1,000 persons to be reached because of course, if you're trying to increase your target, your sales or business activity by 500 additional persons, you have to go beyond the 500 numbers. Perhaps you want to reach 1,000 persons or 1,500 persons. Um, and perhaps out of that numbers, you are likely to get a conversion rate of about 500 persons. Now, the work breakdown structure, it, it it is what will be your guide. It tells you a step-by-step -step approach that must be taken by whoever is executing that project plan or implementing that project plan. And this is where a manager, a project manager can design this entire portfolio, step away and just put someone to monitor evaluate and control. Now, without your WBS, the project again can run away from you because there's nothing guiding the task, the project task, and there's nothing guiding the project activity. The project task is the small bits of things that has to be done. Now, as we talk about the WBS and the work breakdown structure, what I want you to do now is to associate this to your life associate this to uh, you taking steps to achieve your personal life 
master plan. You design a, you design a, a unique project, project for yourself. You design financial goals for yourself. While this concept is relevant to businesses, it is also relevant to you, the private individual. Many of you, again, at the beginning of every year or at the end of the year, you develop your financial goals. Some of you may go that far to set up your financial game plan, timeline the activity, build your team, and you implement. But even when you implement, start to implement, if you don't have your WBS, the work breakdown structure that allows you to clearly say the public relation manager will have to do this by this time, the marketing manager will have to do this by this time, all stakeholders will have to do this by this time. If you don't have the WBS, the project can run away from you. Perhaps this is one of the reasons again why so many persons um, fail in their financial goal setting and their financial game planning because they apply some of the systems but the entire body of knowledge that is necessary to manage a successful business and idea brand or to take steps to increase your personal financing you're not achieving it because all of the appropriate tools and techniques are not being applied to help you achieve that so we are happy to say again at Global Capital Inc. We have designed these unique programs. Um, the WBS, the work breakdown structure, is part of the financial planner's game plan because this is it is absolutely necessary for you to understand this. Whether you're in business or whether you're the private individual who is ambitious enough to want to achieve more financially, this program will literally uh impact your life so if you haven't registered i want to encourage you to get registered now uh, all introductory programs are free and um so you have nothing to lose all right so i want to encourage you to come on down and call us give us a call and get registered for this program again in the event that you're joining me for the first time my name is gary thompson i'm a business development consultant by profession i'm a humanitarian by nature and I'm the multiple best-selling author for several books, including Manager's Toolkit and Billionaire Codes. My new book, 10X Brother Than Marketing, The Psychology of Doing Business, will be out very soon. Remember, this is a period of COVID-19, so I want to encourage you to be safe, protect yourself, protect your loved ones, protect those closest to you. All right? Be blessed and see you in the next broadcast. Get registered now.